I think a strong CFIUS review process is actually very important to the international com <clears throat> to companies, right? Um, if that process is um, uh, has a th thorough scrub of deals for national security concerns, there are less likely that there might be politicization of a process that actually may bring another um, concerns and uh, issues into play that really shouldn't be into play. So uh, I think that the, the transaction that was blocked last week was in fact very rare. Um, I think that of course we would want to make sure it didn't become a trend of any sort, but you know, I don't know the specifics of that, that deal. Um, Chinese investment is ramping up. A lot of it is going to be through acquisitions as most foreign investment uh, is through acquisitions. Um, and so it was in some way somewhat inevitable I don't think we should read too much into one, um, one decision, um, but I think that uh, it's important to keep a watch of because acquisition uh, is the best way for a new company to enter into a market, um, and that's true in any country. In the U.S., about 80-85% of foreign investment is not through greenfield investment but through M&A policy. And when thinking about um, the attractiveness of the U.S., um, I, I would look more toward uh, the concern that globally engaged companies want to be in countries that are globally engaged. So like Jonathan pointed out, um, uh, trade agreements, uh, business immigration policy, um, tax policy, there are other, lots of other things that I, I think can work toward uh, attracting more foreign companies to the U.S. Um, the CFIUS process uh, seems to work as it is.